Hey everyone, it's Kelly and I'd like to welcome you back to another episode of Dying the Dead. This episode is a little different than all the others. While I was going through this entire process of diaphanizing, I actually messed up a little on one of the steps. In the last video entitled The Trips and Digestion, I actually ran into a bit of a problem. If you go look at the video, you can see that my mice are still very brown around the spine areas, they're not really translucent and you can't really see the bones. So that was the problem that I actually ran into while kind of, you know, doing that step. I figured out what actually I did wrong or the, the problem that I ran into while working on the rehydration step where I transferred the specimens through a series of four baths, the last bath being distilled water, I ended up leaving my specimens in the distilled water for almost about two weeks before working on them and before even transferring them into the trips and digestion. So even though I'd fixed my specimens in formalin and went through the entire process, the formalin fixation is actually a reversible process. So the reason my specimens didn't clear as well as they should have or didn't look as transparent as they should have is because they were left in distilled water and the formalin fixation reversed itself and they started decomposing a little bit inside of the distilled water. That is actually where I went wrong. I should not have left them in distilled water for that long. It is disappointing for me to run these specimens through this process and then at the rehydration step, I messed up. I just, I can't believe that I did that. It is, it is a little disappointing. I am a little, you know, a little kind of what the heck about it. But not to worry, I have a third specimen which is going through the process which went directly into the trips and bath. So I have good hopes for that one and I'm hoping that my specimens do turn out in the end. So I'd just like to reiterate to you guys that this is my first time doing this process. So please, 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 all of you viewers out there who just like to watch my videos, who are watching me through this process, please don't mistake this for a box solid tutorial that's going to get you specimens like the ones you've searched on Google or the ones you've searched online or the ones you've seen that their people are selling. Please don't mistake it for something like that. I'm going through this process for the very first time, so I don't know what kind of specimens I'm going to produce in the end. I, I've already run into problems, I've already run into mistakes, I've already had to change things and kind of do different things from what protocols I've read said, so I have not worked out all the kinks in this. And I am filming it to show you guys who are watching me and who just find this very interesting how I did the process, how I'm preparing the chemicals and how many days I'm leaving my specimens in there. So let's go look at some clips of what our mice look like and how they're visibly different from each other. As you can see, the mouse on the left is more brown, and you can't really see the bones too well, and it isn't too transparent. The mouse on the right, however, is very transparent. It's more like a clouded transparency, and you can see where the cartilage stain is on the specimen. You can also visibly see the spine very well. So there is a humongous difference between the mouse on the left and the mouse on the right. So while doing the trypsin digestion, you're going to want to be looking for specimens that look like the mouse on the right. You want to see the spine, you want to see through the ribcage, you want to see through the tissues. If you guys are watching this and you're trying to replicate what I'm doing, just learn from my mistakes and try to tweak and try your own thing with this. Maybe you like, like to leave them in a little bit longer, maybe you need to leave them in shorter, I don't know. So yeah, I would just like to reiterate that again, that this is my first time doing this process. So if you guys have any questions, please leave them down in the comments and I will get to them and I will try to answer them the best that I can. Don't forget to read the description. There's a lot of stuff in there that you may like to read or you may find interesting. Don't forget to thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more videos and if you like what you're seeing. Alright, so I'll see you guys later. Bye!